What's up nail friends? In today's video I'm going to do a galaxy set but these are on glass now so I wanted to try something a little bit different and my model was down. So I took off her set and restarted this so I've already prepped her nails and then we're just going to go right in with sculpting. Let's get started. So I thought I would go ahead and start by sculpting the nails. So if you guys think that that's boring, you can skip ahead and I will leave a timestamp at the bottom here. But some people do want to see my sculpting routine, so I thought I would show you guys. So on her one hand here, I've already applied all of her forms. I had to cut them to fit her natural nail as you can kind of see that her uh, nails come a little bit further out right in the center. So she has a lot of skin under there that comes out. So I had to cut the forms to fit. So you can customize your forms to fit your client's nails, to get them nice and perfect, to make sure that the form is directly underneath both her side walls. Then I'm coming in with Glitter Bell's glass slippers and I'm using my number 10 brush and I'm applying my base right at the tip of her natural nail at the free edge. And then I'm pulling it down and creating the shape that I'm gonna wanna go with. After I got the shape that I wanna go with, I come in and just do a small thin cuticle bead, pull that down into the clear that's on the tip and blend it in and then I'm moving on to her next finger. On her next finger I do the same thing. I apply at the very bottom right at the free edge and then I pull down into the shape that I want before starting at the cuticle. I just found for me that this way works a little bit better. I'll also show you guys my pinching routine as well. So this is kind of a watch me work style application. So I always like to apply my nails as clean and perfect as I possibly can. That way I have less finish filing to do. I just find it's a little bit easier just to get it as nice as you can right off the bat. And then your finish filing is so much faster. So this is just gonna be my clear base. And this would be my routine for any color application. So not just glass nails. So now after I've got the second nail done, I'm coming back in with a pinching tool and just lightly pinching the pinky. So it's not ready to be pinched quite yet. It's not gonna squish, but it's not 100% ready. So I just give it a couple little pinches, put my tool down next to it, and now I'm working on the middle finger and repeating my process of applying at the free edge first and then the cuticle bead. After the middle finger is done, I'm coming back and pinching the pinky again. So I'm just placing my tool and then pinching it lightly. I'm trying to get the, the very tip of my sculpt to kind of taper in a little bit more and make my C curve better. So while I'm pinching it, I have this sped up so it might look like I'm pinching quite intensely, but I'm actually really gentle. Every time I pinch, I look at my model and I ask her if it hurts or if it's sore and you don't want to hurt your client. So don't pinch extra hard or anything, just a light pinch. You're just trying to make the clear on the form pinch in and give it a better C curve. You're not really trying to manipulate her natural nail in any way, just the sculpted nail at the free edge. Oh, and I didn't mention, please ignore my horrible nails. I do have a video coming of uh, my bitten hand, you guys can't see it, it's not on camera now, but you'll see it in a second. Um, I bite my nails really badly. It's a really bad habit. Anyways, I have a video coming to show you guys my transformation of that, so that'll be in the next one. So please ignore. I also almost always 99.999% .999 of the time wear gloves, I just prefer it. But when I'm sculpting, I find that the gloves get stuck to the forms and then it's obviously very hard. So I actually don't wear gloves when I'm using forms. Just because it's really annoying, the form gets stuck to the glove and I can't get it off and then it gets kind of wonky and it's just the worst. So 
That's why I'm not wearing them. But please ignore my horrible, ugly hands. They'll be pretty in the next one. So again, after getting the pointer finger done, I'm coming back and I'm pinching the ring finger. And now you can see that I was able to take my form off the pinky because that one was dry. So you can see if it's dry because it'll kind of come up and be, uh, you can see it on this form where that one area is coming up. That means it's ready. And then if it doesn't come right off, it's not really ready. So here I'm just kind of, I probably should have just left it, but I, I really wanted the form off. So if it's ready, it should come off easily. If it's if it's not ready, it won't come off easy. So I kind of have a little dip there, but I'm gonna fix that when I'm working. So it's not really gonna matter. Okay, so after all 10 nails have been sculpted, here's the clear base. So since I'm just doing a galaxy design and keeping these glass, I'm not really filing them much. I'm just shaping the sidewalls and the free edge. Normally I would take my hand file and go over the whole nail just to smooth and even it out and thin it out a little bit. But that's only if I was doing colored acrylic and these are staying glass, so I don't need to do that. But I do like to shape the nails before applying. It's just personal preference. You don't have to. After filing my clear base, I like to obviously wipe them off, get rid of all the dust and cleanse the nails. So now for the fun part. So I decided to do this design using the Apris uh, Art Inks and the one I'm using here is the Ultra Black from the new Metallic collection. So I'm just kind of going across one side and down, trying to cover up a little bit of the natural nail at the free edge. And then I like to do kind of a swoop so she gets that glass effect at the very tip on one side. So you can use the blending fluid to blend this, but here I'm just using my brush with a little bit of monomer on it. Um, I realized I didn't really actually need to blend much um, because it kind of gave the look I was going for without much blending. So I don't think I do much blending after this. So after I put the black down, I'm switching over to a darker blue from one of the collections. I have all three of the Apris Art Inks collections. I really like the dark blue. So I'm going right over top of the black with the dark blue. Just blending out what needs to be blended. So then I'm coming in with the purple. I accidentally didn't hit record while I was doing the other ones, but I did do it on the pointer finger. And then there's this really light blue and I realized it was kind of light. So I just added just a little bit of that on there as well. So here I'm using another light purple, just applying it where I wanted it to kind of poke through. I wanted to keep the black in the very center. And then I'm adding some glitter. So this is from Glitter Bells. This is just called Poison. I thought it would be the perfect kind of galaxy color because it's got greens and blues and like a little bit of chunk chunky glitter in it. So I applied that over top of my art inks. Right away, I go right back in and I'm applying these adorable stars I got from Magpie Beauty because you can't have galaxy without stars. So I have some green ones that I've used a lot actually in a lot of tutorials I really like the green ones. And then I also have these kind of fuchsia ones. I didn't love the fuchsia ones in this design. So I tried to only add a couple because right away when I put them down, I was like, ooh, those are kind of not really matching, but, <laughs> but they ended up looking cool in the end. So now I'm just coming in and I'm adding a bit more purple. So the fun thing about the art inks is you can kind of overlap them and layer them until you're happy with your design. And then my favorite part of galaxy nails is adding a little bit of pink. It looks so pretty. I was so annoyed that I touched her skin right there. You don't want to touch any of the skin with this because it stains. But I think I was able to get her to scrub it off in the end. You guys will see. So after I got all that down, now I can encapsulate these. So I was actually kind of scared to encapsulate the art inks because I thought they might not do well underneath acrylic. But I thought I'd give it a try and they actually have done perfectly fine. I thought maybe if I put a clear layer down, I would like wipe it all away or something, but they're definitely stronger than that and I didn't wipe them away. So you could encapsulate our inks in acrylic or gel and it didn't seem to matter. 
So I'm applying my clear glass slippers at the very tip of the nail, making sure to encapsulate that, even it out. And then I do my cuticle bead and pull it down into the clear at the tip. I'm trying to be really gentle and careful. Just like I said, I was scared I was gonna pull it away. And also these are glass nails, so you don't wanna get too many bubbles in it or anything. So I like to place it down and just minimal manipulation. You don't wanna move around too much. So since I pinched my nails while I was sculpting, I don't need to pinch them again. So that's how they look so far. Now I'm gonna finish file these. So I'm just using a rounded top, medium, medium coarse carbide. And I use this to go around the cuticle area because it's nice and safe and you can't cut your clients with it, which is perfect. And then I use this to debulk the nail. I go under the free edge with it to make sure that's nice and even. And then I switch instantly to a hand file and I just fix up my sides, go over the very tip. And then I use my hand file to go over the nail, even it out and smooth it out. Try to make sure that there's no lumps, bumps or deep ridges or anything like that. After filing all the nails, I'm coming in with a small buffing block and just buff in the nails. And that way you just can get rid of some of the scratches. You don't wanna buff them too much or your top coat won't stick well. And now I'm just coming in and cleansing the nails, getting rid of all that dust for the next step. So I wanted more pink in this set. So I went ahead and I'm just adding more of that pink onto the nails, a lot more of it actually, cause I thought that they needed the more, more of the pink. I really like the pink. And then I came in with a little bit more of the light blue as well. So now uh, this is a step you don't need <laughs> because I didn't end up using the next step, but I'm gonna show you guys what I did and why it didn't work. So here I'm adding a matte top coat. I'm using Luminary Nail Systems and Power Matte. And I'm applying that down because I'm gonna be do using the white R ink. So I thought I could do a cool smoky design, kind of like a galaxy look, but no matter what I did, it just didn't look the way I wanted it to. And it was taking away from what I was doing underneath. So when you put the matte top coat down, our inks do better on top of a matte surface just cause um, they like to spread, right? So they'll spread into the lines of any of the ridges. So I put the matte top coat down in order to put the art ink down and no matter what I did, I could not get the look I wanted. So I ended up wiping it all off and I'm just applying some dots for like stars for galaxy dots with um, a dotting tool. And then the white I'm using is just the Light Elegance Buttercream. So after adding all those little dots, I gave them a full cure. And now I'm coming in with some crystals. I got these from Blue Streak. And I'm just applying them around the cuticle on two of the nails. I thought these nails had a lot going on already and I didn't want them to have too much more going on. So after that, I decided I want them nice and shiny. So I'm going in with my glitter bells, no wipe top coat. Don't get this on your crystals. Um, just apply around the crystals. You can kind of push it up so they seep under the crystals for better adhesion, but don't get them on top. So I'm just applying this all over the nails and then I'm gonna give that a full cure. After that's been cured, here is the finished design. 
I love this set. I thought they turned out so cool. I was actually really worried while I was doing it because I was like, oh, what if these don't turn out cool? My client's stuck with some ugly nails, but they actually turned out way cooler than I expected. So I hope you guys like this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell next to it to be notified whenever I post and I will see you next time. Bye.